Okay, so we're back. Now, what happened was there's a water monster. And I messed up my box. I have to go here and crank the Flesh can act as a distraction. No, no, it can't. Ah, oh, man, that was my first death, first blood. Never mind.
catch right water monster. What? Uh, we're going in the archive tunnels. What now, water monster? What you gonna do? Nothing. <sighs> oh man, I don't, I don't think I have enough time to read that one. No. I was hoping to be out of the water. Sanctum? It will definitely take care of the vertical part of our journey. So, you have ridden an elevator before? Yes, the Colosseum at Regent's Park has one. It takes you to the gallery where you can view the panorama. Good. This ride might be a little longer. And in the other direction.
nothing scary can happen in this music. Like, it's so peaceful. He returned the teacup to the saucer and picked up the orb once he could have it. My journal is gone. What would they want with my journal? Read. 2nd of July, 1839. I received a letter today from the Algerian governor's office disclosing the fate of Herbert's expedition. About a week after my departure, Abdullah, one of the men traveling with us, returned from the desert. He was badly injured, as if maimed by a lion. The man rambled deliriously about the expedition being attacked by something horrible. The French quickly dispatched a search party to look for the expedition. After searching for days, they found the camp abandoned without any trace of Herbert or his men. Tomorrow, I'll retrieve the things they recovered from Herbert's tent at the customs house. I don't know what to make of it, but I'm worried for him. Okay. Oh man, this guest was like a party pooper. I'm not kidding, like, look at him, he partied. Ooh -ho! He partied. He was like, I have oil. I'm good. The hell gets up. Yeah, this room is pretty peaceful as well. Is that a crowbar? Am I gonna have to go half life in this? I think I will. Like, I'm gonna beat the monster. I like throw it at the water. 3rd of July. 1839. Today I picked up Herbert's things at the customs house. I dug through the trove of documents he had carried and found a log detailing the expedition. The nature of this text ranged from quick notes to colorful accounts of transpired events. I skimmed the pages trying to figure out what might have happened. May 17th, the day I was trapped inside the orb chamber, Herbert dryly states, we covered Daniel after one hour of entrapment. This confused me greatly. I was suffocating within minutes. How could I have lasted an hour? I continued reading the peculiar text. Herbert states his facts without judgment or passion, but suddenly I could read frustration into his text. He pushed his men to investigate the underground tomb, an effort which seems to have strained the minds of his men. Madness spread through the ranks, and Herbert had to take some extreme measures to continue. He finally visits the chamber himself, where he retrieves the orb to the surface. His account confuses me greatly. If he has the orb, what are those pieces in my drawing room? Drawing room. Is that a rock? Can I actually just... Okay, the bed. Is there anything in the bed? Daniel. What? Still having nightmares, I see. Yes. I can't shake them. They come every night. We'll put a stop to them. You'll see. Something great in this one. I just grab that bed. Talk about nightmares. Backwards. Leave those yet. 